as far as I know, uh, you work with search for a long time, and mm -hmm. uh, could you tell some things about how you began, and uh, something about the history of the search, I don't know, important things in the past from your point of view? Um, I came to search in the late 1990s, around 97 or so. Um, at that point, I was working for um, Compaq Computer Corporation, which was where Alta Vista was developed. Um, and I actually started working on web crawling, um, which then was later on transferred to Alta Vista. Um, so that's how I came to the field. And I don't know what are the long-term trends in web search um, scale. I mean, it's amazing to see how fast the web on how big the web has grown and how search engines were capable to keep up with that growth. Um, I remember when Alta Vista was launched, it indexed, I think, 20 million web pages. And today, um, big search engines like Google or Bing or Yandex index certainly on the order of tens of billions of pages, so a factor of a thousand more. And I think that growth will continue for a while. So I think the dominant feature for the last 10 years was to incorporate more and more information that is generated by the users themselves. If you look how web search started, the first engines, engines such as Excite and Alta Vista, just used traditional information retrieval techniques, how well does a query match the documents, the crawled web pages. Um, Google innovated by incorporating link information. Is a web page endorsed, linked to by many other web pages? Um, and then subsequently, a technique exploited by many search engines, including Yandex, Google, Bing, is to um, mine users' behavior to see what users are actually interested in. And that might be queries, that might be clicks through data, that might be browsing behavior. So information retrieval, web search has moved to being much more, um, having the users being part of the cycle. More and more vertical searches integrated into the overall search experience. So when you look for a restaurant, search engines even today tell you, here is the menu of the restaurant, here are the opening hours, here are reviews, here is a location on the map, things like that. Um, the same for uh, an airline search. If you look up a flight number, it will tell you, and by the way, this flight is delayed by 30 minutes. So incorporating a lot of vertical scenarios into the overall experience, that's one solution. The more general solution is, notice that all of these things are scenarios where you get the answer without following any link. You issued a query and you have the answer right in front of you. Um, there is a push to generalize this to other domains um, where the search engine not only gives you pointers to relevant documents, but ingests those relevant documents and synthesizes an answer. And that's possible for any query that can, that is about factoids. So if I search for Yandex revenue, um, the search engine might present to me the answer based on five articles that mention what the revenue of Yandex is. Mm -hmm, and uh, what do you think will be the most interesting field in inf information retrieval in the uh, next five years for the time, for oh, That's a tough one. <laughs> um, I think better semantic understanding of documents. I mean, going beyond treating documents as bag of words, mm -hmm. extracting structure and meaning out of documents. Mm 